I'm welcome again here to Muduluni, where we are here to send our last respects to Mburaini Marauzi. Uh, like we said, uh, the procession started here at around 6 o'clock in the morning, and right now a lot of people have arrived right now here with me. I'm with the spokesperson of the Premier of Limpopo, Mr. Kini Matiba, who will take us through the program. Good morning to you. Morning. Can you quickly take us through the program? What can we expect today? The program is very illustrated. The, we have representatives from all the sporting codes across South Africa, led by the SASCOG president, Mr. Gideon Sam. And the Athletics South Africa uh, leadership is here. Most of the sporting leadership are here. Uh, amongst us in the political arena, we're fortunate to have the Premier of Gauteng, Mr. David Makura, the Acting Premier of Limpopo, Mr. Pala, Rudolf Pala, and the main speaker representing government is the Minister of the Public Service and Administration, Mr. Collins Chaban, who have just arrived. And besides the family and the people of Mujurun, almost everybody who needs to be here is here. What would you say um, is the mood of the people around here so far since you arrived? Look, the mood since the beginning of the week is very somber. The family is heartbroken. The province is also heartbroken. We had a memorial service yesterday quite a huge one that illustrated the entire career of our hero, the athletics champion, Brian Murawzi. And you can see the spirits are very low. The family has lost a brother, a son, and a father. The entire community here, the entire province, has lost a gold medalist who represented not only the province of Limpopo, but the entire South Africa at large. But looking at the support that is here, you would say that surely there is a lesson to be learned uh, from this gold medalist. Uh, do you foresee more athletes coming out of this area? Most definitely. I think the message is uh, through the entire week and the message from the Minister of Sports yesterday, Mr. Fikile Mbalula, has been to encourage young people who would want to follow the illustrated career of Brian Murawzi to take up the baton and follow up on his steps. And I believe the youth of this village, the youth of Limpopo, will surely follow up on his steps and will surely follow uh, his career and lead also. The young people who have been mentored by him, like Castor Sminya, and where is the girl, Sipeng, who actually mentored Mbrayeni, have been speaking throughout the whole week that indeed Mbrayeni has been a hero. He represented uh, the entire country, a humble man who uh, did not seek his own glory. Not many people will know him talking on any media platform except when he's asked to. So obviously, there's that spirit of following up on his example. Well, so far that is what is happening here. Like we said, there is also the KZN Sports Confederation represented by Mr. Patrick Shongwane. Right now, like we said, the proceedings inside are still continuing and we will update you as the day proceeds.